So if I just didn't argue with myself for the past two hours on where to fish tonight, I already would have been fishing. But I made it to the pond and I really don't have that much time today, about two and a half hours to fish. But I'm not gonna do a whole long intro today. As a matter of fact, I don't even have the motor or battery on the boat yet, so I really need to get to step in tonight. And as usual too, wasn't windy at all today till I decided to go fishing. Now it's really windy out, so we'll see how that goes today. So I made it out onto the main lake, and just as I figured, it's way too windy to be fishing out here on my little John boat. So right now I'm just trying to look for a little kind of backwater cove out of the wind where I can actually fish. So I actually beached the boat on shore and that's just because I couldn't find a spot out of the wind. But along with taking like two hours to decide where to fish, it also took me a pretty long time to decide what I was gonna use to fish today. And after thinking for a little bit, I decided to come up with like a little swim bait versus big swim bait challenge today. Now, at this pond or lake I'm fishing today, it's specifically smallmouth. There's actually zero largemouth in this lake. So the baits I'm throwing today aren't gonna be huge by any means. The first swim bait I'm gonna be using today is this Huddleston Deluxe. It's six inches, and this is in golden shiner color. And then the small swim bait I have is just this Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. This is in three eighths of an ounce. And I'm beginning to love this little Mega Bass swim bait. And to really test out these two lures today, I'm not gonna be doing anything fancy like that. I'm just gonna be throwing the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper for like, I don't know, 25 minutes. Then I'm gonna be switching over to the Huddleston for about 25 minutes and switching back to the Mega Bass. But how I do all my challenge videos, to complete it, I have to catch a bass or pickerel that's two pounds. But because it's still really windy out there, I think I'm just gonna start fishing from shore here for a little bit, wait for the wind to calm down, and then I'll get back out onto my boat. All right, so it looks like the wind actually died down a little bit, so I'm going to immediately get back on the boat. All right, a couple more casts with the Dark Sleeper, and then it's been about half an hour or so with the Dark Sleeper, but no bites so far. Well, actually, that's not true. I've had one bite, but I think it was like a bluegill or something. Oh, it is a bluegill. 
red breast sunfish. All right, so maybe where there's bait fish, there's bigger fish, right? That's the idea. Oh, that might be one. All right, I'm switching over to the Huddleston. Not one bite on the dark sleeper. That's crazy to me. Really, he's got to be in the area. All right, a few more casts with the uh, Huddleston swim bait, and then it's been about half an hour, and then I'm gonna switch back to the Mega Bass. And back to the Mega Bass. So I know this doesn't make much sense, but right now I have a little bit more confidence in the big Huddleston bait than I do this little Mega Bass bait right now. There we go. Come on, let go. Well, this is the first fish of the day. Is a yellow perch. Look at how we ate that Mega Bass Dark Sleeper all the way down in there. Then again, I did let him kind of chew it because I thought it was a bluegill I don't know if you guys saw my rod tip going like doink 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 thought it was a bluegill but you know first fish of the day it almost took me all evening but honestly that does feel good I have not been fishing in about a week There we go. <sighs> there is one. On the Mega Bass. All right, little pickerel. I really don't like slow ratio gear. Six four to one. Man, 
It might be good for like a Huddleston or something where you want to kind of retrieve pretty slow. But man, I just can't pick up my line fast enough. All right. So, caught two fish that round on the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Time to switch back to the Huddleston. swing and a miss. I don't know how. Yes, yes, yes. On the HUD, baby. <clears throat> On the HUD. There we go. Oh, look at this small mouth. This has got to be two and a half pounds. Got to be two and a half pounds. But man, what a heck of a small mouth this evening. I only have maybe 20 minutes left of daylight. Man, are you kidding me right now? I knew the Huddleston was gonna come to clutch. I knew it. Look at what that small mouth did to my Huddleston. But, I'm just gonna fix it, rig it back up again and send it back out there. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time to fish this evening, only maybe about 20 minutes left of daylight. So if I can catch another nice smallmouth on this Huddleston, that will be pretty sweet before I have to go. So overall, had a pretty successful evening for only being out here a couple hours, I guess. I was kind of hoping to have a little bit more success on the little mega bass swim bait. But that's not always the case, and I'm actually very happy to have caught in that smallmouth on the Huddleston. And typically that's the average size smallmouth at this lake, or pond, depending on how you look at it. And the Huddleston I was using was the Huddleston Deluxe, the 6 inch and the golden shiner color. And I was also using the three inch, three eighths of an ounce Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. And another thing too is, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the 4,000 subscribers. Honestly, I didn't think I'd even come close to 4,000 subscribers. I just kinda do this for fun. So to reach that milestone is actually kinda sweet. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.